I have heard that the four of you have a way of thinking outside the mailbox. Well, we do occasionally um, push the envelope. Oliver is sort of the um, leader of this band of misfits who work in what's called the dead letter office. And what do you do there? Sorry, Arlene, that's classified. As a team, we piece the puzzle together of whatever letter we're dealing with at the time. Hi, we're from the United States Post Office. And each episode is a different letter. You're like the mail police? Sort of like mail detective agent people. It has a detective quality because they have to trace the letter. Are you telling me you people really are from the post office? Oh, yes. Uniquely gifted postal workers. With a license to deliver. I was hoping that was a cover story. There's Oliver, Shane, Norman, and Rita. They're unconventional, but they are really creating a family. We're the real deal. These are ordinary people who find themselves in the position to make a difference in other people's lives. My name is Oliver O'Toole. I believe this belongs to you. They sort of, in a way, get to try and deliver dreams, which is, I think, the important theme. There is a difference to be made here. Fine. Can we just please make a difference over dinner? Every two episodes, we have a special guest supervisor. I'm the first guest, <laughs> which I'm thrilled to be. I want to crawl into that mysterious little mind of yours and find out what makes this place tick, tick, tick. <laughs> In each case, we have a television icon. Teresa Capadiamonte is a legend, goddess in the postal acropolis. Valerie Harper, Teresa Capadiamonte, is going to be laying out for them the rules and parameters of the series. I didn't get where I am by cutting corners. She will have a unique ability to see into their hearts. You are a beautiful little onion begging to be peeled. To be able to encourage them and tell them what they need to grow and to be not just better postal workers, but just better people. My favorite part about the show to this point is probably just the, the relationship between the four main characters. Are we in the habit of ignoring miracles? No. Ooh. That's where the heart of the show lies and that's what's so touching and so wonderful to watch is this group of people put those pieces together, which is very heartwarming. Cheese! And fun to watch. What is it you always say? Putting a stamp on a letter and sending it out there into the world. Is an act of faith. I'm putting my faith in you. I'm so excited to read the script. There's mystery, there's romance, there's heartache, and there's mending of people. It's a fabulous, wonderful, charming, loving show from the pen of Martha Williamson, who created Touched by an Angel. And the writing is so good. The journey she takes you on each episode is never what you think it's gonna be. This show is a perfect fit for the Hallmark Channel. Show me the magic. Everybody's gonna like it. You know, you're talking to the Touched by an Angel ladies, so you know you're gonna get inspired and encouraged in one way or another. Signed, sealed, delivered on Hallmark Channel, the heart of TV.